Every year, automobiles are gaining horsepower, and they're also getting good emissions, nice low emissions. Well, in the past, that wasn't the case. You either had horsepower and bad emissions or good emissions and not a lot of horsepower. So what's the deal? Today, we're getting them both. Well, that's because of fuel injection, and that's what this AMS Oil Tech Tip's all about, fuel injection. Where do we start? Well, the evolution, of course. Let's take a look at fuel injection. Well, it evolved from carburation. Carburation was on your old cars, no fuel injection whatsoever. We just dumped the fuel down there, and that's what you got. But it was nice, wet, rich mixture. That's important. Then we went to TBI, which was fuel injection. It's throttle body injection. Actually went down over the actual throttle body, washed the valves. Once again, a nice, rich mixture. Then we went up to the multi-port injection. You can see the injector right above the valve. We got a little bit leaner, we got better fuel control, but we were still washing the valve. Well, today, folks, we're down to direct injection. And Len, that's important because with direct injection comes some inherent problems. Things like super lean mixtures, high pressures in the cylinder creating a lot of heat. That's a problem. Heat is a problem, and that's what you're fighting here because heat has a tendency to build deposits, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing deposits on piston crowns, ring lands, uh, injectors, we're seeing spray patterns being affected. Uh, so that's why we're recommending uh, an additive in the form of our upper cylinder lubricant. It's got a real potent uh, detergency in it uh, designed to take those high heat situations that we're putting the fuel into. Uh, and we are recommending that every single tank. You want to do it often. And that's important. I mean, putting it in the tank, these fuel systems, they can be dangerous. I mean, we're talking about high pressure and you really don't want to go in there and start busting open these lines with all the emissions and things that are going on. It's hard to get it into the fuel injection system. So the tank's the best way to go? It is, right. You want the easiest way to bring it in there is, is through the fuel tank, through the injector itself. And you want it every time you run it? Is that the best way to do it, especially with the heat and the problem? This will be considered an every tank fuel additive. Yes, sir. Well, there you go. I'm going to add it to my car so you can too. Just check them out on the website at amsoil.com.